Uh, we're doing a collaboration uh, brew with our friend Marco um, from China. It's going to be a Saison. Uh, we feel like the Saison yeast uh, is going to pair really well with a little special ingredient he brought over, Szechuan peppercorns. Um, so we're really excited. It should be a, you know, 5 to 6% alcohol, very easy drinking. Uh, oh, what kind of things do you uh, see in the future for, for Ethereal? Um, we're really trying to start to work on uh, expanding our sour beers. We've, that was something that was our goal from the beginning. Um, it's been a little bit uh, put on the back burner just because we don't have too many fermenters. So right now we're just building up a lot of barrels uh, inventory. You know, we made some, some beers that are pretty popular uh, for our one year anniversary. So both of those are both being planned to be brewed again. So you're bringing back Baba Yaga? Yes. You're bringing back the Lambic? Yeah, that Lambic's gonna be a bitch, but yeah, yeah, a lot of, a lot of peaches. So. <laughs> What, what is your name? Marco. Uh, my Chinese name is Chang Rui Chao, but I don't think you have to okay. pronounce it, but everybody goes me with Marco. Okay. Yeah. So just Marco. We're going to give you like a Madonna kind of thing, because I'm going to have your name on the bottom. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't know who Madonna is. <laughs> so you're, you got the one name. Okay, what's the name of your brewery? Uh, Bubble Lab. So right now, I brew beer in Wuhan, uh, which is a central, a very central city. So what I'm trying to do here is to brew a beer that would be uh, more mm, suitable or have a better palate to the Chinese consumers. I went to Russian Weaver, uh, which, which I had uh, probably the best double IPA I ever had, and that's a Pliny the Elder. I drank that, I got like so... I, I got like the face, seriously. They have this, what do they call it in Chinese? The, that quality where your tongue goes numb? Mama. What was it? Mama. So that, what does that like translate into? It's mumble. Mumble? Yeah. Huh. We, we, don't, we don't eat that in China as well, but we really like it when we cook any food. You said, we don't eat these in China. I thought it was like, we don't eat these, but we send them to America <laughs> yeah, right? and we f you guys. <laughs> Just getting them a little bit of heat, kind of a dry toast, and what that does is uh, the oils that are kind of just latent and have been sitting in there during storage kind of hot. So now they uh, they get much more volatile, and when they're all nice and and ready to come out like that, they'll come out in the beer.